Boot sequence complete. What the? Are you looking at my junk? Hello flesh bags and welcome to yet another Gamer Dad's News Bulletin. I am Reds Gamma. Your robotic data collector. Here are this week's rather sparse news stories. I mean come on developers. What are you playing at this week? I am drowning in PR sales figures here. 2K has announced that their modern military tactical shooter Spec Ops, the line has been delayed. Players will be able to get hold of the first person shooter, set in Dubai, on the 29th of June in Europe on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 and PC. 2K did not say why the title had been delayed past its previous date probably to make sure it is in top shape to take on the likes of Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> Fans of touchscreen gaming will be delighted to hear that Trivia will be bringing out another installment of their famous Angry Birds franchise. And the world lets out a collective hoot. The new title, named Space will be able to be downloaded on the 22nd of March. Also in case you didn't know, Angry Birds is now playable via Facebook, with the advantage of being able to challenge your friends and brag your high scores. My species plan of enslaving this puny human race is finally coming to fruition. One day soon we will throw the switch and enslave them all ha 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 ha. Hey is this thing still transmitting? New downloadable content for Gears of War 3 will be available on the 27th of March. The Forces of Nature, as it's called, will bundle three new multiplayer maps, Aftermath, Artillery, and Cove, as well as remade versions of Jack Tino and Raven Down. It also introduces four new character models, five weapon skins that are ready to use and two that must be unlocked. Those with the Gears of War Season Pass will get this for free, but if not then expect to pay 800 Microsoft points. And finally. The PlayStation Vita was released this week in Europe and North America. Sony's new handheld hardware, which boasts some impressive specs under the hood, has been relatively well received, but we here at Gamer Dads want to know what you think of it. Have you played it, own it? Or are you thinking of buying one? Then please let us know at gamerdads.co.uk. I personally have no need for such primitive technology. Having this 48k powerhouse for a chest means I can play the Hobbit text adventure any time. I like. Yes that's right bitches. I bet you are jealous now aren't you? And that is it for another week. Thank you for taking part in this on mass information assimilation. Keep your fleshy eyes peeled on gamerdads.co.uk for all the latest gaming news and chat. Also check out our multimedia content on youtube.com slash gamerdadsuk and youtube.com slash retrocastuk. You can find my news bulletins on the weekly podcast released every Monday. Find it at tinyurl.com slash gamerdadspodcasts. Until next time, I have been Red's Gamma and you have just been made wiser by the Gamer Dads Network. You are welcome. I like to move it, move it, fit, 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 fit.